Talk, Assistant Professor, Department of Biochemistry. Today, uh, we discuss about uh, the second card. In second card, slide. Uh, we today our topics is about minerals macro minerals micro minerals so at first what is the definition of the minerals minerals are organic substance which are essential for our body in biological functions which generally not synthesized in our body but must be supplied in the diet that means minerals will not synthesized in our body this is essential to supplied by diet classification of the minerals are macro minerals and micro minerals macro minerals the minerals that are required more than 100 milligram per day for example sodium potassium chloride calcium phosphorus magnesium sulfur and micro minerals minerals that are required less than 100 milligram per day micro means small so that means less than 100 milligram per day for example, these are chromium, cobalt, copper, fluoride, iodine, iron, manganese, molybdenum, selenium, zinc, etc. So, the functions of these minerals. Essential compound of all cells. Minerals are essential for formation of bone and teeth. Essential for maintenance of normal acid-base balance. Essential for maintenance of water and electrolyte balance. Uh, minerals uh, such as uh, sodium potassium that are essential for this maintenance of the our body's electrolyte balance essential for nerve conduction uh, the essential for nerve conduction means uh, when there is action potential is occurs there is also uh, uh, minerals are acts such as uh, sodium potassium through sodium potassium pump and form the nerve conduction then some minerals are essential component of for vital compound some minerals are essential for certain vital vital enzymes copper for cytochrome oxidase zinc for carbonic anhydrase selenium for glutathione peroxidase so these examples are very important uh, for your viva exam they act as a cofactor of certain enzyme for example manganese magnesium copper zinc certain minerals are essential for coagulation for example calcium iron so there is a chart that depicted that principal function and deficiency manifestation of macro minerals and micro minerals so uh, this uh, chart show that sodium potassium chloride calcium phosphorus magnesium sulfurs the metabolic function of the sodium is principal extracellular cation potassium is, is this also a very very important intercellular cation and uh, buffer constituent and this sodium and potassium both maintain water and acid base balance in our body chloride this is also a principal extracellular anion and this chloride is necessary for hydrochloric acid secretion by the parietal cell of the stomach and then calcium uh, this is uh, a most abundant mineral for formation of the bone and teeth phosphorus is also constituent of the bone and teeth magnesium uh, this is important for muscle contraction nerve transmission and formation of bone and teeth Sulfur, this is constituent of the protein, bile acid, glycosaminoglycans. Now, uh, individually, we discuss about the minerals. At first, the chloride. This is a major extracellular anion. The so source is table salt. Egg, milk, leafy vegetable. And it's recommended dietary allowance. This is RDA is 2 to 5 gram per day the function uh, is we already discussed this is a very important for water and electrolyte balance 
formation of hydrocholic acid and this is also involved in chloride shift magnesium this is second most abundant intracellular cation its source is green leafy vegetable cereals meat and its rda is 300 to 350 milligram per day you know, its function is cofactor for many enzyme control neuromuscular irritability and this is an important constant of the bone and teeth and deficiency of this magnesium will cause impaired neuromuscular function TTNE convulsion muscle weakness now we discuss about calcium calcium is the most abundant mineral in the body human body contain about 1 to 1.5 kg of calcium so the source of calcium the food source of calcium include dairy products green leafy vegetables salmon fish and sardines daily requirements of calcium so uh, the daily requirements of calcium is individual uh, uh, for age uh, sex and physical condition according to age sex and physical condition at first we uh, shortly discussed about that uh, this is uh, necessary also for children growth bone growth growth of bone and uh, this is necessary uh, 1000 milligram per day for children 500 milligram per day for adults and in pregnancy and lactation 1500 milligram per day and now uh, mechanism of calcium absorption a calcium absorption occurs by 125 dihydrocholic mediated mechanism you see here that after absorption it will in intestine there is the gene that produce messenger RNA this messenger RNA produced a calcium binding protein this calcium binding protein ultimately increase the absorption of calcium from intestine and this calcium binding protein this is necessary uh, for formation of the calcium binding protein uh, is vitamin D vitamin D is too much necessary to formation of calcium binding protein this cal uh, increase calcium binding protein will increase absorption of calcium from intestine this is the gross mechanism now distribution and storage of the calcium this 1 to 1.5 kg of calcium in our body 99 percent present in bone and teeth and one person in soft tissue and extracellular fluid and this plasma calcium is 9 to 11 milligram per 100 ml so the function of the calcium there is huge function of calcium mainly formation of the bone and teeth nerve conduction muscle contraction activation of enzymes blood coagulation secretion of various type of hormones as a second messenger and action on myocardium these are very very important function of calcium in our body so disorders of calcium metabolism that means the disease mainly occurs that is related with calcium metabolism that's our hypocalcemia and hypercalcemia hypocalcemia the cause of hypocalcemia that means decrease calcium ion concentration in the blood that is hypocalcemia causes are inadequate intake impaired absorption increased excretion due to any renal disease magnesium deficiency and in case of acute pancreatitis the features of hypocalcemia are muscle cramps and titani and ultimately this muscle cramps is causes laryngospasm 